Nothing came easy down in the state of Texas this weekend. Oklahoma State, well, they get sabotaged down in Waco. 41-34, that was a tough game. The Baylor Bears are red hot. Meanwhile, the Sooners go to TCU for the first time since the Horned Frogs joined the conference. Get a tough 24-17 win. Welcome to the regular season finale of The Quest, sponsored by Call Oki. I'm your host, Damon Fontenot. I'll be accompanying you on your journey to find the week's top play in the Sooners and Cowboys. Tough, tough week for the Pokes, as OSU finished the season with a disappointing loss down in Waco. The Cowboys, who tied for third in the Big 12, then get passed over by multiple bowls and end up in the heart of Dallas Bowl. And to top it off, the last few days were filled with rumors that head coach Mike Gundy was on his way out. Not true. The press people do not vote. At least that's the conclusion I've come to. As a result, the Stillwater, Stillwater Precinct was almost completely silent this week. So in at number four is a play called Catching a Bullet. I'm not going to lie to you, not only did Oklahoma State lose, but the game was almost completely devoid of highlight-worthy plays. Subsequently, you end up with Josh Stewart stumbling while catching a hard pass over the middle. It was a difficult catch, perhaps. Was it worthy of a mention on our quest? Find the best of the best? Certainly not. We were with what we were given. Let's move on quickly. Just let's get past that, shall we? As, as hard as we try, we get sucked right back into that game. There was an orange power outage this week as the Cowboys' two plays combined to get only 5.5% of the vote on our poll. So coming in a distant third is a play called Top Shelf Throw. Midway through the second quarter, and the Cowboys trailed the Bears 24-10 when Clint Shelf found Josh Stewart with a pretty pass in the front corner of the far, front far corner of the end zone. 15-yard touchdown pass capped an eight-play, 77-yard drive that took only two minutes and 36 seconds. OSU was within seven. Shelf had an okay day, completing 30 of 51 passes for 333 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Jay Stewie 5, as I like to call him, had another big-time performance catching a game high. 12 passes for 147 yards and a score. Cowboys finished with somewhat impressive 560 yards of total offense, but gave up 615 to Baylor, including 319 on the ground. So not quite the usual intrigue as we know our top two plays. Both come from the Sooners. Since one is offensive and one is defensive play, the script pretty much writes itself. In at number two, the week is a play called Purple People Leader. Oklahoma got its first taste of the purple place known as TCU since the Horned Frogs joined the conference and RJ Washington got to sample a rare delicacy called Travoin Boykin. Washington feasted on the redshirt freshman quarterback midway through the second, causing the fumble, which was scooped up by linebacker Frank Shannon and advanced 15 yards downfield. After originally being ruled an incomplete flat pass, Bob Stoops did get his way. His call was reviewed and ruled a fumble. Though an early whistle did wipe out Shannon's return, it led to a 34-yard field goal and a 24-14 lead. All we want to know about is R.J. Washington getting a hold of that quarterback and knocking the ball out. We had some you know, high scoring games these last couple of games, and as a defense, that's not what we wanted. But to end all of that and fight through all that and injuries and this guy going down, that guy going down, and it ended with a Big 12 championship in Fort Worth, nothing like it. So we've reached the premier play from the final week of the season. It really wasn't that close this week. At number one, with over 60% of the vote, is Mr. Untouchable. It had been two months since Damian Williams had ran away with the top spot on the quest. Chicks dig the long run. We were less than a minute into the second half, but the student was hanging on to a touchdown lead, and Damian broke loose. I don't know that he broke loose as much as he ran free, untouched for 66 yards. Sooners went up 21 to seven. Williams ran the ball 18 times for 115 yards and one score. It was his fourth run of at least 65 yards this season. It's just the line, you know, executing. And all I can do, you know, no one touched me actually. So, you know, it's the line doing what they're supposed to do. Receivers running guys off, blocking guys. So all I can do is, you know, run, run as hard as I could, you know, make sure to let nobody catch me. That's all great and all, but we want to know how he managed to take a leisurely stroll down Route 66 without so much as having a finger laid upon it. Anyway, that's what Damien had to say. How about what you have to say? If you want to tweet me a Christmas card, send me something through Twitter or on Facebook, here's our tw Twitter 
or whatever you call them. Here's how you get a hold of us on Twitter, at the underscore quest and at highlight genesis. Tweet me a Christmas card, I would like that. Or on News OK Sports Facebook page, how about the bowl game? It's gonna be a while now. We're not gonna be on a weekly basis now, but we are gonna get to some bowl games eventually. Coming up on January 1st, 11 a.m. Yeah, that's real. That's not real nice for me. Heart of Dallas Bowl, Oklahoma State versus Purdue. I don't know what to say about this one. The Cowboys got, uh, well, that's unfortunate for them. How about the next game, though? This, this game was in the Cotton Bowl, but the next game is the Cotton Bowl at Jerry World. Number 12, Oklahoma versus number 10, Texas A&M, 7 o'clock on January 4th. That's at Cowboy Stadium in Arlington. It's the Cotton Bowl in Jerry World. The other one is in the Cotton Bowl, but it's actually the heart of da Dallas Bowl. This one, of course, will include probable Heisman winner, Johnny Football. Of course, we'll see if he actually wins the Heisman this Saturday night. So that'll do it for another season of The Quest, sponsored by our good friends at Call Oki. Remember, call before you dig, calling 811 early. And make sure you don't have to dial 911 later. Happy holidays. Perhaps I'll see you next year on The Quest.